What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into the tea room. DDG upset after a negative comment about his son. Kai faked the workout. I mean, yeah, I know. That's so it. I'm pretty sure many of you know that DDG and Hallie shared their baby boy Halo yesterday. He is super cute, super adorable. I see a lot of people stating that he actually looks like Hallie's sister, Chloe, but I think he's the perfect mixture between DDG and Hallie. DDG Absolutely. did post on his Instagram, La Familia, who Halo look like more you or you but he got Hallie's eyes so of course both of these responses gave the option that Halo actually looked like him uh -huh. didn't give an option if the baby just looked like Hallie but of course you guys know DDG either way baby super cute now the shade room did post these photos as well and DDG went off in the comment section on people that had negative things to say about his son yes, he, he states did. thank you to all the nice comments i wish <clears throat> you all success and love and to the one percent of miserable weirdos i hope you dead emoji face early and stay broke forever now i'm not even gonna post what people were stating in the comment section about his child now i didn't see a lot of negative comments but i did see a couple and people should be ashamed of themselves and this wasn't Thanks. on shade room teens with the younger people was actually the big so somebody said something about me posting it first of all i was just reading comments i don't be knowing what these people gonna say <laughs> so i'm in the middle like t room clearly set her video up i'm doing it live so i don't know what they gonna say literally Shade room so you would expect the comments to be a little bit better than they were ddg and hallie knew that people were going to have things to say regardless and that's why they decided not to share halo in the first place now people also had some things to say about a clip that ddg shared in his vlog when he was giving baby halo an edge up they were stating six months is too young to be edging up his hair but you guys leave your opinions below let's move on to this next topic with kai now he recently did this segment on his stream where he had thousands of dollars worth of fireworks and one of his friends davis actually set it off i wonder how do they discuss that like who gonna buy the stuff you know what i'm saying <laughs> In I guess it don't matter because they just rich but his room now at first no one was suspecting anything funny here so no one questioned anything going on in his room at the time but now after that friend set off those fireworks and people were like are you serious you're gonna blow the whole house up that's when people started to go back and look and see was this even real was this Kai's real room so then all all of the internet detectives started piecing everything together and they oh that's crazy so it was too it was too close they noticed this wasn't even the same room this was a whole setup it was a set the ceiling looked different nikki's chair looked different and someone uh, even posted a behind the scenes photo of the whole setup now, now how did they get that Everyone just couldn't believe what actually occurred here. Everyone was going crazy like this couldn't be real. So now the shade went on to his Twitch and he actually debunked the whole thing, even proved that this wasn't even Nikki's chair. Let's see my chair now, look. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, three dots on the chair. Look at Nikki's chair. One, two, one, three. Two, three. Yep. one two, three, four. One, two, three. Look at the pattern. Look at the pattern. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one. It's a pattern. It goes one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Like one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, two, three. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. So listen, 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 listen. I know what's going next. What's next? Look at the pattern. That's crazy though. That was good work, Deshae. Only three. Only four. Write that down, 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 write that down. Write that down, write that down, write that down, write that down. Okay. That was good work. That's one thing, that's one thing. The ceiling, the ceiling, that's two.
so let's move work. on to this next topic with Carmen and Corey. Now, Corey was recently on Instagram live and he was with his son, Aiden. Oh, girl, he shared so that he is on his way again to the courthouse to file for <laughs> joint custody <laughs> they they ass again of court. the kids that he have with Carmen, as well as file for his divorce. Now, I don't know if Corey's just saying things to try to scare Carmen into letting him see his kids, but most most of the time when you file for joint custody or you're trying to get a divorce, yeah, the divorce is, paperwork can be filed at the court. Are we but with joint minutes, custody, most of the time yet. people go through a lawyer unless you really know what you're doing. And Girl, we are not at eight minutes yet. Able to go to the courthouse and file for it yourself. But again, most of the time, this is something that a lawyer handles. So I'm not sure what Corey is actually going to the courthouse for to file for joint custody. Again, I'm not saying that it can't be done, but I think it's best to go through a lawyer and i will say that if Corey is planning on doing this himself carmen may have a strong team behind her and her actual management company may put a lawyer up for her Child, like from the bottom of my heart i really don't know what my boys in i haven't seen my boys going on it's so crazy it's so far that's what kills me i don't know where they at no, bro, because it's like damn bro then what happened Niggas just say anything. In October when I left, man, I ain't seen my kids in five months. And so the same thing happening again, and it's just like it's so fucked, bro, because y'all, that one, oh, that one I'm going to the court right now, and then I'm going to file for joint custody for sure. Like, we ain't doing no art, you know, ain't no need to do all the internet shit, that shit done, you feel me? Like, alright, just be mature about the situation, man. Go to court. Because what you was doing ain't working. <laughs> we had that shit in the courtroom. But yeah, bro, I haven't seen my kids since they left Alabama in March. Like, I, no, April. It was April. Yeah, shit nuts, bro. I miss them niggas so much. I, I be crying, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. That shit, you know, like, do what I told, do what I told Maddie. Because she, they be seeing me, Maddie and, um, yeah, Maddie and Precious. They, they like the only two girls that have seen me that know, like, how deep it is. Bro, I swear y'all, they would make me feel so bad, right? Like, when I do think about them, right, or I, I see pictures, I have to just smile and laugh at a lot of memories because if I don't, I swear on everything I love, I just start crying. Like, I ball. Like, I just go to think about them, bro. And I go to think about, like, they getting older. And what make me so mad is the fact that, it's like, damn, bro, I have to try to not think about it because if I don't think about it, it ain't going to bother me. I'm glad that he got a woman. I'm so glad that he got a woman. Mm. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Carmen is no longer the distraction. So he doesn't have to. He's going to continue to try and tear her character down more and more and more. But at some point it gets old. So now it's like, all right, I want full custody of my kids. Oh, excuse me. He said joint custody, which is a good thing. So he wants joint custody. Bet. That's all you should have did in the first place. <laughs> Get joint custody. Divorce me. We're done. You know what I'm saying? So um, I hope... This settles it and he gets exactly what he wants. I do. He deserves to see his kids. Everybody deserves to see their children. Period. I ain't. Period. Okay. Corey been hinting that he trying to get Maddie pregnant. And do that. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Which I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. She's very straightforward voice. Like very like. Yeah, but I think that they really going to have a huge domestic issue, okay? Because she don't play, and she's letting that be known early. Like, listen, nigga, I don't play. You know what I'm saying? I don't play. Don't play with me. I won't play with you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, keep your, keep your weenie in your pan. Only put it on me. You ain't finna play with me. You ain't finna embarrass me. And if you do... I'm going to go to hell on your ass. Like, she seems like scratch up the cars. She gives me, like, put a um tracker on your ass. Yes. Uh, uh, find a way to put a, um, what's that thing called that you, like, like, she gives me sew it in his socks <laughs> or, or his hats or something. You know what I'm saying? She just gives me very much, I will hurt you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Waiting to exhale, you know? Um, it's a thin line, you know? So, 
Uh, and I could be absolutely wrong. This is all alleged. I'm just, this is just my little opinion or whatever. Yeah, air tags. This is just my little opinion. But I think he has met his match, baby. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.